you saw a person in your room? We will lose her. Gina, no! Gina! from 2014 from writer, director, producer Jennifer B. White. A new ghostly tale to haunt your very soul. Mary is a free-spirited, bright and happy, nature-loving young 15-year-old girl. Family, birds and dancing are her life. During a spring vacation at the family lakeside getaway, Mary mysteriously disappears for some hours, only to return during the evening to her very concerned parents and younger sister. Something happened, but nothing physically evident at all, although Mary is quiet, withdrawn and pale in her demeanour. Returning back home, Mary is lacklustre, disassociated, experiencing feelings of being adrift from her daily lifestyle and she is having visions of a ghostly figure. Things become creepy when Mary's little sister screams out one night that she has seen a ghost that looks just like her sister Mary. A nightmare or a manifestation that is something brought back with the family from the lakeside and even connected to Mary's change in mood. An analyst is recommended and talk of a disembodied spirit gives cause for concern, particularly as Mary's mum also sees the ghostly figure that younger daughter Sophia witnessed earlier. Mary expresses feelings like she is outside of her body, lethargic and apathetic. Soon family and friends close to Mary are tethered by these ghostly events. A visit to a hypnotherapist to regress Mary back to the events at the lakeside when she went missing trigger memory of a traumatic encounter. And events that follow start to become more perturbing as it seems Mary's very soul is lost and the longer they are apart the greater the harm befalls both body and soul. Mary, loss of soul, is a ghostly tale of family drama. The stuff of bedtime story scares. A solid shot for TV style production with believable characters and overall natural cast of actors in their roles. The underlying theme of strong family bonds is subtly prevalent towards the film's end as Mary's mother goes into Sigourney Weaver Ripley mode from Aliens. But that aside, the film as a whole is a level paced, plausibly told tale that general audiences will be happy to pass their time with. Horror fans really should look elsewhere for their fix, but that said, Mary Loss of Soul really isn't a horror film. This is a family drama well-intentioned, if a little melodramatic at times, particularly come closure. A sound 4.5 out of 10 viewing experience here that is best served to its intended PG-rated audience that will appreciate it at its best. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Ah!